Hi guys, today we'll be working with REST API creating a motivator Python program. This is a fantastic and very useful mini project which every certain amount of time shows us a great quote to stay motivated during the day. Let's get started. First, let's import needed modules. Let's import tkinter to show the quote, requests module to get the data from the API, and time class. First, we need to get our data from an API. We use get method of requests module. Get method needs an endpoint, a URL to connect to and get some data. For this program, I use Zenquotes API. Go to zenquotes.io, all the way down in simple requests. We want to have a random quote each time, so we copy the endpoint URL. Don't forget the URL must be a string. Then we call the JSON method to parse the data in JSON form. JSON form is a list in Python, so we can manipulate it easily. If you copy the endpoint URL in your browser, you see a list which has one member. The member is a dictionary itself, which contains the quote, other, and headers. We want the value of Q, the quote. So response object is a list. We first tap into its first and only member, which has the index number of zero. Then we want the Q key, which contains our quote, and store it in quote variable. Let's check whether we get it right by printing the quote variable. Perfect. We got data from an API and polished it to our needs. Now that we have our quote, let's show it to the user. First, we create a window and set the padding in both X and Y vectors to 30 pixels. Then we create a label and set its text attribute to our quote. And I increase the font to 25. Notice that font attribute wants a tuple, so put the font size in parentheses, otherwise you get an error. Then we pack our quote label, which means let it occupy all the space of our window. Finally, we call the main loop function, which means update our window, if a change occurs. Let's test it. Excellent. I want to change the title to PyDebater. We can tell the window to get closed after some amount of time by calling the after method. First attribute is the duration in milliseconds, and second one is the function, which is destroy. Let's see the result. One, two, and it's closed. Nice. But I want to get pi divided every 30 minutes. How can we achieve that? Well, we can use a while loop. We put all our code in a while loop, which gets executed forever by calling while true. But a while loop can get executed hundreds of times per second. How can we tell it just get executed and motivate me every 30 minutes? Well, by calling the time.sleep method. Sleep gets an integer in seconds. So 30 minutes is 1800 seconds. This means that after each execution of while loop, it sleeps for 30 minutes. And it executes once again and then sleep for another 30 minutes. Let's decrease the closing time to 1 second or 1000 milliseconds and sleep time to 5 seconds for testing. It's working perfectly. Congratulations, you created a very useful program for yourself using REST APIs in less than 20 lines of code. Leave a comment or ask any questions in the comment section, and please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Take care, see you later.